Hey friends, this is Pamela and today I'm gonna be sharing a behind the scenes video of prepping for a whole bunch of pop-ups. I started the month off with visiting this art event that had a mural in this community garden. It was kind of eye-opening because I met a whole bunch of people and realized that there was a really supportive art community here in San Jose. Growing up, I never had an example of what that was like or even examples of POC successful artists. Events like this and pop-ups help me realize there's a huge community and like-minded individuals who are willing to support you. And so I'm so happy that I took that leap into pursuing art and now I'm going to be that person for myself who's going to lead that example. <laughs> So enjoy this vlog full of art making and prepping. Thanks for watching. I'm back. I took some pictures. Uh, what else? Oh, TikTok. Oh, I guess I'll share some outfit details. Is this thrifted in a white skirt under from I forgot. I forgot where. And then I thrifted these awesome shoes, little kitty heels from Goodwill, and they're by Steve Madden. And I'm like, oh, yes. Okay, so I'ma change now. And get to work. Now I'm gonna be finishing up the clay charms that I have to make. So I'm gonna make I think about 20 more of these rainbow ones. And then I think 14. I think 14 more these like colorful mushrooms. I'm probably gonna do like different colored mushroom designs. What's up? Today I'm gonna be working on my little mushroom clay earrings. I want to try to finish this this weekend. It's currently Saturday. My first pop-up is going to be on the following Saturday. Then I have one the next week. I have two on that weekend. I have another one on the Friday following. So we got to get to work and I might need to do more later. But I'm not trying to forget to go overwork myself making all of these because they're so freaking time consuming especially the painting process um, so yeah I'm gonna be working on that
Welcome to my garage. I got my stuff, my parchment paper. Bad f news, I ran out of a resin, so I have to go on Amazon and buy some more. We're gonna continue this in a day or two. What's up, we're back inside varnishing a second coat. Almost done with the second coat. Probably gonna wait two hours, flip it over, and do two more coats on that side. Oh, and then my pop-up is actually Saturday. A lot of stuff to do. Yeah, all I'm waiting for is the resin to resin the rest of the strawberries. Use the rest of this, and I, all I need to do is assemble it. And I'm done. Oh my god, I just got home from work and I got my Super Ninja stickers. I'm so excited because they're the holographic and glitter stickers and I love them because they always do such good work and they really care about the customers. Oh, so and let me open the blinds a bit. Oh, it's so pretty. So the background is holographic along with like her nails and her tattoo and then some of the accessories. Then here are my other stickers of my LSD girl, I guess. Her name is. Turned out pretty cool too. But I do prefer holographic just because I freaking love holographic but I want it 
try some new ones in this these are pretty cool so i got 50 yeah 50 of each this should last a pretty good while oh i'm gonna work on my little uh post to post on my instagram for to advertise my all my pop-ups for the month so i'm gonna draw a draw like a visual ad of me in the cartoon version and then i'll add the little dates around her Okay, I have a pretty productive morning. I ate breakfast, worked out, did a little dance cardio, my favorite. Love and a fitness and Tara's body. We have the best freaking dance workouts. Well, I also have to make stickers. I basically have to finish up today because I work tomorrow and it's a 10 hour shift. So I have to make stickers, assemble my earrings, and just make sure I have everything together. They're super cute. <laughs> They're super cute and a pretty good job for homemade stickers. They obviously take a lot of more effort and time to do because you have to print and laminate them yourself and then put it into your cutting machine. I find that the cutting in the machine is not always accurate even if I'm just sending the same file to print. Sometimes it just messes up, which freaking sucks because you're wasting because you're wasting paper and plastic. I'm probably gonna go to bed now because I have to get up super early for work. I'm gonna try to finish what I need to finish by tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully I'm not tired. Yeah, okay, good night. Okay, we're back home from work. Also stopped by Walmart. Got some card stock papers and my earring backing cards that I made here. Are some of them, they're pretty cute, simple, and good design. And then I'm gonna get back to work. We on track this time. Last time was a freaking mess, but we're not gonna get into that. So I would have some in stock. So here's 
the ones that I already have open, but this is the Beyonce one. Pretty much on point, perfect, perfect colors, and the quality is just on point. Here is my Star Girl one. This was actually a draw this in your style of Art Allegra. She's an Instagram artist that I follow. And then here's my Samurai Girl. This was a commission from my friend John. So shout out John. Support your friends. And yeah, she's pretty badass. Here is my Psychedelic Girl. The colors turn out pretty on point for this one. This is the last one. It's the another LSD girl. I did a whole kind of LSD series. Psychedelic LSD kind of series. With this and then the other girl that you saw. I was planning to make these. Or a psychedelic sticker sheet with like mushrooms and whatnot. Maybe I will, but here's her. I got everything packed up. I got my, I'm about to put my table and probably a canopy. That's gonna be hard to put on by myself, but I'm sure I can ask for help. And I'm freaking excited. I'm gonna have a good day in the park. Just chill. I'm gonna spend some time assembling some more earrings and just draw. Yep. <laughs> 